इनकलाब एक लड़ाई है जुल्म और ना इंसाफी के खिलाफ इनकलाब एक हथियार है आदमी पर आदमी का शोषण रोकने के लिए वेलकम टू ईदना आई एम शिवराज एंड टूडे इज ट्वेंटी थर्ड मार्च द एनिवर्सरी ऑफ भगत सिंह मार्टिडम Every child in India knows Bhagat Singh's name. We have grown up with images of his revolutionary personality and have been inspiring you all. And Bhagat Singh didn't care for his life, family. His focus was only on the freedom of our country. When Bhagat Singh was hanged by British government, he was only 23 years old. Today we have with us professor chaman lal retired professor and former chairman at jnu at center of indian languages he is also the honorary advisor of bhagat singh archives and resources center in delhi so we can call him he is an expert on bhagat singh welcome you sir thank you we are very happy to have you here Yeah, I'm also happy to interact. Let's begin with uh, what inspired you to follow Bhagat Singh and focus on his life and work and spend your time and energy on him. What was the driving force behind that? Could you please explain to us? So you yourself has said that every child in India knows the name of Bhagat Singh. So like that, as as a child, I also knew the name of Bhagat Singh. But somehow, when I little grew up, so I started uh, reading and I. translated uh, one of the revolutionaries uh, himself revolutionary who is a historian of revolutionary movements in india manmath nath gupt so he was uh, uh, sentenced to life imprisonment in the kakori case in which ram prasad bismil and ashwakulla they were hanged so they were part of uh, bhagat singh's uh, organization which was called hra hindustan republican association so in my early youth so i translated his uh, book bharat ke krantikari into my mother tongue punjabi so that was serialized by the gadar party memorial desh bhakti yada memorials of patriots so baba gurmukh singh laltoon the legendary gadrait uh, hero so he was editing that so i serialized the all book in that you know but later on along with my own professional studies in literature i continue to read about bhagat singh and other revolutionaries etc along with them. when i did my phd in jnu uh, then i did my phd on yashpal who was a very eminent hindi writer but he was also class fellow of bhagat singh in uh, dev school lahore and later national college lahore so there were uh, quite interaction between them he was also part of revolutionary moment yashpal also there was a lot of books about bhagat singh there are films about bhagat singh even in south india i can find even school children they he is a hero so so and you happen to interact with youth and different community so what is the inspiration uh, for these communities at present about uh, bhagat singh what do you think about it you see i will give credit to the south india and especially periyar who has really discovered bhagat singh very few people know bhagat singh wrote this essay why am i an atheist on 5th and 6th october 1930 in jail when he has met his fellow gadrait revolutionary who was deeply faithful to sikh religion and uh, the discussion which uh, took place among them that made bhagat singh feel that th- this our conversation can be interpreted in a, a very wrong way also so he took care to, of to it that he wrote down jotted down the essay by an atheist it's an autobiographical essay in which he tells that by the age of 19 mane by the 1926 before that no revolutionary has been agnostic or atheist every revolutionary was deeply faithfully religious periyar was the one who got it translated into tamil in 1934 and from comrade p jivanandam and he published in his journal kudai arsu prior to that periyar has written a very 
forceful editorial in his journal Kodai Arsu. At the execution, Bhagat Singh was executed on 23rd March 1931. Yes. In the 29th March issue of Kodai Arsu, Periyar wrote a very, you know, inspiring editorial. He said that every state has to produce four Bhagat Singhs. Now, it's the South India, especially Periyar and Tamil Nadu, which has put Bhagat Singh in proper perspective in that very period. That um, essay was not translated in Punjabi till 70s, not translated in Hindi till 70s, even after 40 years. The period got it translated in the 34 itself, three years after. Then what would be the reason why the North Indian states failed to understand uh, the revolutionary spirit in Bhagat Singh and as you said, has Periyar identified him? So why it didn't happen in North India? You know, it depends upon for North India, I will not divide the, in this sense North or South, but I am just to give credit to Periyar. Say, it depends upon the enlightenment of a particular area, particular uh, leaders who view history in a proper perspective. That's how, again, I re recovered Ambedkar's uh, editorial on Bhagat Singh that was also published by Ambedkar in his uh, monthly Janta. It was monthly or weekly. So, somebody gave me that copy of the uh, this thing. Then, after 85 years, Ambedkar's editorial on Bhagat Singh, it was a very soft editorial, not uh, inspiring like uh, Peria. But still, uh, he wrote about it. So, that's how actually um, it was sometime outside Punjab, where Bhagat Singh was understood better. I will uh, give credit to even Karnataka in Bangalore. You are Dr. G. Ramakrishna, who was a professor of English in Bangalore University. He wrote a book in Kannada on Bhagat Singh. He translated why many theist, uh, maybe even before uh, Punjabi or Hindi, and that is uh, very popular. Yeah. So, and in, in Malayalam, your language, there are a number of books on yes. Bhagat Singh. So, in Telugu, there is a collection of Bhagat Singh's writings. Everyone puts this question. Why Bhagat Singh alone? Why, what is special in Bhagat Singh? Why Bhagat Singh has been given uh, more uh, importance than other revolutionaries? True, there are hundreds of revolutionaries, martyrs, etc. But the Bhagat Singh was the first one to put into words his ideas or the ideas of revolution. Prior to Bhagat Singh, the whole idea of revolutionaries was based on Abhinindra Tagore's painting where a poor looking like woman is in Fatipurani sari and it's, she is chained by, you know, and they will say, the revolution will say that Bharat Mata Jinjiro mein jakdi hai, hum iski jinjire kaatenge. Lekin jinjire kaatenge baad kya karenge? They had no idea. Yeah. So, the Bhagat Singh who gave this idea that when we get freedom, what kind of India we will make? Now, let me come to one point. Yeah. Now, we know that Indian democracy is facing huge, serious yeah. crisis. Yeah. And there are a lot of protests is going on in our country, farmers protest, yeah. and now anti-CAA has come up. Yeah. And uh, women's protests, tribal groups, the elites, the, every section of community are in, in distress and come, come out in protest. So, and I think that the youth of India, which is a majority of our population has a huge responsibility on the shoulder. So, what is the lesson that they should learn from or inspiration they should draw from life of Bhagat Singh according to you? Yeah, again I have to put this whole thing into a perspective. And you cannot uh, disconnect pre-independence period to post-independence period. The problems which were faced in pre-independence period, the problems have been continuing in the post-independence period. Only the color of the rulers have changed, as Bhagat Singh had written somewhere. Actually, he, his quotation is very famous. What difference does it make if in place of Lord Reading, some Tej Bahadur Sapru is made the Viceroy of India, or in place of Lord Irvin, some Tej Bahadur, uh, this is the Prashottam Das Thakkar is made the Viceroy of India. People of India would, would not, uh, their condition will not change. So, we want to overthrow the system of exploitation where workers, peasants get the full, you know, fruits of their labor and they are not exploited. 
that's what they gave statement in the court also now that is the kind of thing i will uh, again um, uh, give you two similar circumstances in 1924 there were huge communal riots in kohat that kohat is close to peshawar which is called pakhtunwa these days in pakistan so such huge riots were there that reverberated the whole freedom struggle for a very long period so then in 1927 bhagat singh wrote two articles relating to religion and to communal communalism one was uh, religion and our freedom struggle other was uh, communal rights and its resolve now in one essay he completely shares in a very bitter manner ke in dharma ne hindustan ka beda gar kar diya hai these religions have you know almost hindustan had been thrown to wolves so he says that uh, when freedom struggle is being fought for that unity of people is more important and unity of people is being split apart by the communal rights and by the communal feeling so he proposes that religion should be kept away from the politics and freedom struggle should be fought unitedly by all people then again they had formed naujwan bharat sabha student union and then they have been in practice collecting having collective lunches community lunches in community lunches they will get all communities together hindus sikhs muslims christians whatever brahmans dalits whatever women men whatever they will sit together to eat they will cook together to eat so you need to place bhagat singh in historical perspective as you were saying what is the youth should do youth have to study bhagat singh and on the base of study the uh, bhagat singh has a very famous quotation the sword of revolution is wetted on the ideas so vicharon ki dhar pe talwar te thi so of course as you beautifully narrated bhagat singh had a very clear uh, uh, ideological understanding and clarity about what should be done about the indian context when he was living and do you think that the present day generation though they protest in in different occasions they lack some kind of clarity about issues or do they really understand the importance of fighting against the system which is very important today so is it is it something an ideological understanding or uh, clarity is missing in the present youth do you think so yeah uh, i'm not I'll not confine it to youth but to the whole population of india or say the citizens of india how bhagat singh's idea could be even uh, implemented successfully today the farmers movement's victory in 19, uh, 2021 is the shining example of that but then that again became a build, sort of limited victory in the sense farmers movement was again historically linked to 1907's pagdi sambhal jatta movement which was uh, you know led by ajit singh who was bankal bhagat singh's real uncle so for which he suffered you know 38 year exile and he returned to india only in march 47 and he was to die on 15th august 47 itself after listening to nehru's speech twice with dashni early morning 330 he died now this movement was directly linked that movement was inspired by uh, pagdi sambhal jatta that movement you must have seen on the media how peasants in delhi sitting are reading bhagat singh books they are not garlanding bhagat singh statues or photos there is you will not find any photo you will find only photos that a peasant is uh, sitting or just half lying and then having bhagat singh book reading which means bhagat singh's ideas inspired them they steel their nerves they knew that without sacrifice we cannot win they gave sacrifices of 738 farmers to uh, get that victory it has not come easily so even today now again uh, farmers are split and that's why their movement is not getting to anywhere near to success but again the bhagat singh spirit will guide them to unite and fight if you don't unite you will be defeated you will be face more repression 
than even earlier repression. Yeah, definitely. So you you mentioned the impo how uh, Bhagat Singh was fighting, and he was he had a very crucial role in awakening the youth during the freedom fight. Right yeah. now, as I mentioned earlier, today India Indian democracy is facing huge crisis. Our constitution values are being uh, uh, being left out and secularism is challenged and all the cultural fabric of India, the idea of India itself is challenged by the state. So in this juncture, what do you think or uh, inspiration, getting inspiration from Bhagat Singh and leaders like him? So what is the uh, message that you would like to pass to the younger generation today? I will like to tell younger generation, you may not read anything else of Bhagat Singh, just read 2nd February 1931 letter to young political workers that is directly addressed to the youth. The, the title itself shows letter to young political workers. So young political workers and he has a full-fledged essay, Yuvak, youth and he has a letter to students conference. So all these letters tell youth that you are the framers of the destiny of this nation. Old people do not uh, do this task. It's only youth. You have energy. You have inspiration. So you need to be committed to the nation. And but just commitment to nation doesn't take you very far. So you have to be ideologically clear in mind. What do you want to build of India? So if you want to build a exploitation-free India, I will tell you in the Punjabi revolutionary poet past words. So past in a so, uh, essay says that the youth of this country, he also was martyred on Bhagat Singh's martyrdom day by Khalistanis. So, religious fundamentalism is enemy of any country, any society. Leave aside India. Pakistan is getting crushed under the religious fundamentalism. So many countries are getting crushed. Iran is getting crushed. So many countries are getting crushed by the religious fundamentalism. So, religious fundamentalism is the enemy of any society, any country, not religion. Religious fundamentalism. I will make, Bhagat Singh also made difference. Bhagat Singh made religion between religion and communalism. He made that religion itself is okay. I mean, if you have faith, you have faith. But religious fundamentalism, whether of Hindus, whether of Muslims, whether of Sikhs, whether of Buddhist, even, you know, Bhagat Singh used to say that don't, a, there is a word in his introduction to dreamland, that read, think and only believe if you are convinced. Believe only with reason, not emotionally. So this, this, this is the age of Andh Bhakti and that Andh Bhakti is destroying India. Andh Bhakti is taking nowhere to India, it is rather getting into deep seas. So you have to be critical, must think over it and then reason over it and if convinces you, then only believe and otherwise don't yes. believe. Thank you very much, Professor Chamanlal, for spending your valuable time with you. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you. I also greet your uh, listeners and viewers. Mm. On the occasion of 23rd March birth anniversary, uh, martyrdom anniversary of Bhagat Singh Rajguru and Sukhdev, I extend my greetings to all your listeners and viewers. Thank you. For similar discussions, please visit, like, share and subscribe edina.com.